Did you or did you not admire the intro? That is the question. So a bit of a clickbaity title, but I only clickbait when I have something important to tell you. So this is a um, follow-up in video format to a book review I wrote on Yukio Mishima's Sun and Still. And although not a new insight, I talked about it in my video titled My Last Political Video on YouTube, where I say that politics is biology. Same thing here, and a powerful insight in Sun and Still, is that the way you are, your physique, your mind, body and mind are one, by the way, as I am fond of saying, the way you are influences your way of thinking. So if you are a if you are in a decadent body, you might have decadent thoughts. Now, of course, this doesn't really apply to everyone, but it's a good general guideline. There are plenty of guys and girls in decadent bodies who have reasonable thoughts. They have a reasonable worldview anyway, and there are plenty of otherwise fit and healthy individuals who have worldviews that are not particularly good and glorious, to say the least. But in general, it's true that a healthy mind exists in a healthy body, and your body it um, can facilitate certain views, certain opinions, and certain a certain worldview, to put it that way. Same thing if we're talking about my training videos, something as mundane and uh, yeah, you're familiar with them. Have the um, playlist Eternal Glory. Now, of course, there will be a lot of guys, these ironic guys. You all know how they look. Um, they might come in and say this is pure cringe or whatever it might be. And first, you might say they say it because they are jealous. And yes, they are jealous and they are not particularly good people. I can say this with full certainty after all of these years. They aren't good people in the least. They usually have mental issues, etc. But the point being is that although they are bad people and they are jealous of um, the aesthetic I'm portraying, it also has to do with they don't have the physical, their biology cannot facilitate an appreciation for certain things. So we can take a completely different thing. We can take cilantro. You have certain people, they like cilantro. I do, by the way. I think it's nice. Certain other people, they really do not like cilantro in the list. It depends on your genetics. Now, appreciation for um, heroic aesthetic, or whatever we shall call it, an epic aesthetic, you need to be in a certain mindset. Your mind and body, which are one. I'm fond of saying this all the time. They are one, and if they are in a certain position, you will be a, you will be able to appreciate certain things. So if you are, in if you're a younger guy, you're looking at this, you might stumble upon my videos at first, and you might wonder what's uh, going on here. The reason I'm making them is for others to look at before they hit the gym, get pumped up mentally, and you want to hit the gym yourself. Now for other guys who aren't in that, they haven't started upon their upwards path. They might think, what's going on here? This is uh, pure cringe because they don't understand it. Another example can take coffee. First few cups are not particularly good in the least. I'm sure you can all agree, but after a while you get into it. It's an, it's an acquired taste. Same thing when we're talking about certain types of aesthetics. This um, glorious and epic sort of aesthetic, it is an acquired taste. And it can most usually at least only be appreciated if you have certain... If your soul and mind and body are in a certain place. And this is also true if we're talking about politics or philosophy. As I said in my video, the biology is politics video, that certain guys, they don't feel, you know, a healthy man with a healthy mind and body will, his blood will boil when he hears about a particularly heinous sexual transgression or whatever. But then you have certain men, they are not so bothered. It's because they don't have the correct body, they don't have the correct biology to properly summon up that sort of anger in them. So they have a faulty moral compass and, and of course it needs to be repaired and it can only be repaired by repairing their overall body and uh, spirit. So anyway, to conclude this, your physicalities, your biological well-being, it can facilitate either good thoughts a good worldview, or they can facilitate bad thoughts. So that's usually why you see these 
negative, they're full of resentment, usually comes from a place of physical, they are physically not in a good position. Whereas, of course, if you are in a good position, health-wise, you can appreciate more things and you will have a more reasonable and decent worldview. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Check out the article, first link in the description box below. Thank you for watching XXO. Boom.